how to transport your freight from the port of Rotterdam to the European interior. Traditionally, freight was transported by water. Boring! Today, in the 21st century, we have trucks and freight trains. But as futuristic as that seemed, it caused a lot of congestion on the road and rail network. However, the Netherlands has come up with a solution for this. Rotterdam's own dedicated freight railway straight through the country to Germany. Join me in a journey along the railway and let's discover what the railway can teach us. Good morning and welcome to the start of the Betuwe route. I find myself in the port of Rotterdam, largest harbour in Europe. Here are facilities for importing coal, petrochemical products, containers and much more. The port itself is about 35 kilometers long and consists of a large network of waterways, roads and railways. Oh, and it's the Netherlands, so there are also bicycle paths. Today, we start our journey at this container terminal, where they are already busy loading a train with newly arrived containers. These could be containers that arrived here by ship, but these could also be containers that were brought here by truck. In any case, at the entrance of this complex, there was almost a constant stream of trucks entering the site. With the constant expansion of the port and rail capacity, aka the Betuwe route, the system on the port changes regularly. A section of a new railway viaduct was recently completed, which puts this bridge out of service for rail transport. This gives the railway more capacity and reliability. Let's move to our next stop on this journey. Here at Barendrecht, the Betuwe route joins the main line, which makes them nine tracks wide. Four normal tracks, three for freight and two for the high-speed line to Brussels. These nine tracks together provide many trains. Look, here comes another coal train from the port of Rotterdam. But also a lot of noise. Since the tracks here passes through the town of Barendrecht, it was decided to put a roof over all nine tracks as part of the construction of the Betuwe route. So where I'm walking right now is right on top of the railway tracks and there are just trees growing there is a path, there is grass. I thought it was a very beautiful park. There was even a playground slash sports area. But wait, if there is a park, a playground, is there also a car park? On top of the tunnel there is a park, hmm. a playground, hmm. a sports field, hmm. a square hmm. and a parking lot. Hmm. Okay. Yep, in complete Rotterdam tradition there is also a car park. Well, let's take a train to our next destination. But unfortunately, that train was cancelled. So now it's already a new day. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Out of all moments, the conductor had to choose exactly this moment. Anyway, here we are, Keivuk, the largest railway yard in the Netherlands. Just as we arrived, a freight train left the yard to take the Betuwe route towards Germany. The train had been assembled in the hours before on one of the 43 distribution tracks in this yard by using the so-called hump in the yard. It works like this. When a train arrives at Kaifuk from somewhere in the port area, it arrives at one of the 14 arrival tracks. Here the wagons are disconnected and pushed over a hill. A network of automated switches and brakes in the tracks ensure that the wagon rolls on the right track at the right speed so that it comes to a stop exactly behind the last wagon on the track. In this way, trains from various locations in the port of Rotterdam are divided and combined into long trains that go to one destination, for example Cologne or Marlan. Unfortunately, we didn't see any more trains leaving during the time that we were there. 
there were some lock movements though, and trains that skipped the Kaifuk yard. Next up, the Sofia Rail Tunnel. This is an 8 km long railway tunnel under Hendrik Ido Ambacht and Papendrecht. Four kilometers of these were built with the cut and cover method where you dig a trench, build a tunnel and cover it again. The other four kilometers were made by a tunnel boring machine. This happened around the year 2000 and was the first time that the tunnel was dug with a tunnel boring machine on such a large scale in the soft soil of the Netherlands. The experience gained here made it possible to build the later built north-south line in Amsterdam and a 7 km long tunnel on the high speed line between Amsterdam and Rotterdam. Oh, and by the way, this is a metro tunnel because filming in the real Soviet railway tunnel was a bit difficult. We leave the Sofia Rail Tunnel and start our 88 km long journey through the country directly along the A15 highway until this highway literally ends. From there we go through two more tunnels, one under the Panders Canal and one under the town of Zevenaar, after which the railway line reconnects with the existing railway network. About 160 km of sound barrier have been built along the railway line. This is of course to limit the noise of the heavy freight trains. They built so much sound barrier that it's quite difficult to find a piece of railway without a sound barrier like this one. Furthermore, as I just said, the railway line has been built along the A15 highway. We call this bundling and this ensures that the nuisance is experienced in an as small as possible area. We have arrived in Germany, and in Germany they do things in a different way. There have been plans for years to upgrade the existing track here for higher capacity. In fact, there were plans to have this all finished by 2003. 2003! Anyway, work has been going on since 2016, and the plan is for it to be completed in 2026. I just have to see if it all works out. For now, there is nothing to do but hope. Or is there? The Dutch government has been playing with the idea of creating a northern branch from the Betuwe route through a region called the Achterhoek. This railway line would then cross the border somewhere near Enschede. This means that the freight transport to northern Germany can also use the Betuwe route. And this ensures that the Betuwe route is better used. However, unsurprisingly, there is a lot of opposition to this idea. Because the Achterhoek is a very quiet and rural area, freight trains don't fit well in there. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.